What's up everybody? Welcome to John's Daily Hustle. Today we're going to go cut one of my properties, but it's pretty thick and it's been wet because we've been fighting the rain here, so it's grown a lot. So the customer has asked me to bag the grass instead of double cutting it this time. So we're actually going to get to use both the Xmark with the accelerator grass catcher I have on it and the Toro with its bagging system on it. And we're going to collect all the grass from this yard. This will be the first time I've used the bagging system on the Toro for grass anyways. And you guys know I did that big leaf cleanup using it and it worked pretty well. But this will be the first time I've collected grass with it. So we'll see how it feels and how much does it hold. Okay, so jumping right into this one, you guys can see I did start with the X mark and I started on the backyard and I'm using that accelerated grass catcher for the X mark. You guys are actually going to see this property quite a good bit as this is definitely one of my favorite properties to mow. It's very thick and very lush and very nice green grass. You guys will see a different shot here in just a little bit. But this shot right there I think is a really good angle or I thought it was a really good shot. It's almost like a really good advertisement or whatever for Accelerator Grass Catcher anyway. So hey, Accelerator Grass Catcher, the company that makes it, if you guys are out there watching this, hit me up. You know, I would love a little sponsorship, right? So anyways, as I was saying, that you guys are going to see a different camera angle here coming up real soon from the other perspective. You'll actually see how well this yard stripes, which is why I'm kind of going at an angle anyways on the yard or I'm going diagonal stripes on this one. The first couple of mows I went up and down, now I'm doing diagonals, and the next time I actually mow this property you guys will see the video, but I'm going to go the opposite diagonals. I think it'll look really good and we might even get diamonds in the yard or something like that. You know what I mean? I think it'll be cool, right? right? So anyways, right here the bag where the catcher actually filled up as one of the downsides to it, it fills up quick. Now what you guys can kind of see me doing off in the distance there, which I had already done, I'm just cleaning up some of the grass, is I actually dump it in a little trash can there. And I can get about two of those accelerated grass catchers full in that trash can before it's full. And then I carry the trash can to the truck and dump it. It just saves me a little bit of time from walking back and forth on the truck. I actually learned that over the fall and winter time doing the leaf cleanups. It helped me out really well. Now from this angle, you'll actually see how well the yard stripes. You'll have to apologize for this little bit of a low angle shot. You guys should be used to it now. I've used this shot a lot on my channel anyways. But... I did get a larger tripod that actually stands up about five feet, so we're going to start getting more better angles anyways, in my opinion, I would say anyways. It should help make some content just a little bit more enjoyable anyways. As I keep saying anyways, good lord, I've said anyways maybe about five times now, right? So the main reason why I'm doing this is this yard just absolutely grows thick and lush and it grows very fast. I cut this yard every seven days and honestly I could probably get away with cutting it much less than that. You know, I could probably get four to five days cutting this right now. You guys might not be able to tell it from this angle or this video, but the backyard here is actually on a pretty decent size of a slope, or I should say it's got a grade to the backyard, which if any of you guys are familiar with farming, that is kind of a bit of an irrigation system. I believe they call it like a gravity irrigation system or something like that, or a hill irrigation. But it really helps water the yard. When it rains, it all runs downhill, and basically every blade of grass gets the perfect amount of water. So it grows very fast, as well as the customer last year did fertilize this yard. And I've been cutting it on the higher setting, because if you cut it any lower, it, it causes that you know grass buildup, that thatch buildup, and it looks like you're cutting hay. And I just can't do that, so it took a lot of double cutting. Well, what I ended up doing on this one is I cut at a normal height using the bagging system. Actually, I believe I cut a quarter of an inch lower using the bagging system. And then I went back and dropped it down just one more notch below that and collected all the grass. Now here we're finally moved on to the front and I'm using the Toro Time Master 30 inch for this. And I've got to say, this was the final property I did using the Toro Time Master where I was finally able to say I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love the Toro Time Master. It does very well just about in every aspect you can use it for. But again, I'll save more information and more of my opinion on that mower for its review that'll be coming out real soon. But as a side note, I am very, very impressed with the amount of grass that the bagger actually holds on this mower. You guys heard me say that when I did the leaf cleanup where it holds quite a good bit of leaves. It holds just as much grass, if not more. It does very well at mulching it up. And honestly, in my opinion, you really couldn't tell when the bagger was full on it because of how well it mulches the grass up, even when it's thick like this. You guys can see on the left side there, the thick lush grass, and then on the right side, I dropped it down pretty low, or at least lower than normal. I mean, it was over an inch that I was cutting off. Or I should say it was over an inch lower of a setting that I was cutting it. 
so it made quite a big difference but it definitely mulched the grass up pretty well and i was able to hold quite a lot in that bagging system as you guys see right there i was actually just walking over because it looked like that one last strip you can see is maybe just a bit darker it's kind of hard to tell and that's how i was able to tell that the bagger was full but it's very hard to tell that because of how well it mulches the grass up like i had said yeah. so enjoy just a couple more shots of the toro time master and we'll be right back Alright y'all, so there you guys got to see all the grass that I took away from that place. It was quite a good bit as that yard was pretty thick and overgrown. It's basically that whole bed full. Maybe not quite the full bed of my truck was full, but it was quite a good bit of grass. So hopefully now I can keep it manicured and keep it cut and cut it like normal and it won't be terrible and it'll actually look really good, but we'll keep you updated on that as it goes. As y'all guys saw, I am in desperate need of getting some kind of actual grass collection system because getting off a bunch of times to have to empty that accelerator grass catcher really is getting old so i'm hoping by fall time to get an actual grass catching system for that mower so be sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow that and see what i do end up going with and as always guys thank y'all for watching please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see y'all in the next one